Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial series. My name is uh, Arnaud Couturier. I'm going to show you how to create 2D manga eyes in Blender. So there are two reasons for creating 2D eyes in a 3D application. First, um, you can use this technique uh, for 3D characters. And uh, secondly, even if you're uh, working only in 2D, for example, in Photoshop or the GIMP, you can still render the eyes in Blender and, uh, and from a given perspective and then export the eyes to your final uh, painting program. So let's get started. Uh, first, we are going to work only in um, from the top view and in orthographic view. Okay. Uh, from the default cube, I move it a bit to the left and I will name it I uh, left. Then I duplicate it using Alt D and not and not Shift D, and you move it on the other side, roughly at the same distance from the um, the Y axis, the green line. Okay, and you name this new uh, cube I right. Okay, so because we have duplicated this one with Alt D and not Shift D, they have the same uh, mesh. So let's call it I. They have the, the same mesh uh, data. Okay, so when I modify one, I modify the other as the at the same time. So uh, on the right eye, as you see, we have to uh, invert invert it on the x-axis, so I have to do a scale x minus 1. So now when I move a vertex, the other one moves, but uh, uh, it's mirrored, mirrored around the uh, y-axis. And also we don't need, uh, it's a cube right now, so we don't need the bottom uh, vertices. And let's put it on the, on the ground plane roughly. We don't have to be exactly on the ground, it's okay. Okay, so we have the, the objects, I left and I right. So let's shape them. Uh, let's give them the shape of, the, of, a, of a manga eye. So first give them this kind of um, shape. The, the top is wider than the bottom. Okay, and then we add a, an edge loop here and an edge loop here. Then you uh, make it a bit more round, like this, and like this. Maybe just like this. There, there are a lot of uh, eye shapes, so you can uh, use the one you prefer. Uh, we'll add a subdivision surface modifier, 3, and uh, for the, the other eye as well. Okay. Uh, let's do a test render. Good, it's starting to, to look like eye. Let's render it from the top. And let's make our camera orthographic too and change the scale so that the eyes fit, fit into the uh, render screen. Okay, rendering. Hmm, starting to look good. Let's give our eyes a basic material. Let's call the material eye for now. Okay, and make it shadeless. And this will be the uh, the white part of the eye, so we'll give it a value of 0.9. Uh, when using going for the anime or manga style, you should avoid using perfectly white or perfectly black colors because it looks too. Uh, the contrast is way too high, so use something like 0.9 for um, something that should look white. Rendering, okay. And the background also is not very good. Let's make it a bit more um, 
either kind of a bit more neutral. Uh, there is something important I, I forgot is don't forget to change in the uh, scene options in the color management change the display device to none so that now we uh, we are telling Blender not to to adapt the color to any display device and uh, therefore we're looking at the true colors the raw colors we are not choosing so for the background uh, let's choose a middle gray and some or maybe even some sort of blue like this Okay, so it looks easy on the eye, so to speak. And uh, okay, so you should save your work right now before Blender crashes. Let's continue the shaping. So the basic shape looks good. Now we'll we will add the uh, the eyelash. So just select the top edges, duplicate them, then extrude them. Maybe a bit more. Dupl uh, extrude. No, sorry. Uh, duplicate. Duplicate. Extrude. Okay, and uh, we are going to give them a black color. So in the uh, material options, go back to object mode. Add a new uh, material. Call it I black. Okay, back in edit mode, assign these selected faces to this material. And just as the other material, make it shadeless and almost black, like 0.2, for example. Uh, let's move them a bit inside the eye. And we are moving out of uh, the top view to make the eyelash move it a bit above the eye like this okay so that uh, they don't fight because if they are on the same plane like they were before uh, see you have these artifacts they are fighting it's called Z fighting Z ordering fighting okay so let's put them above like and we don't have any problem now okay uh, just a quick test render the shape is not really attractive right now. Let's hide the camera. So we are shaping the. We'll be shaping the eye uh, for a uh, female eyes. Okay. So I'm going to shape them to be a bit more attractive, like this. Mm -hmm. Duplicate scale. Oh, give it the proper material. Scale like that. Extrude. Mm, okay, and the bottom. Bottom is usually thinner and smaller. I mean the eyelash is shorter like that okay save test render okay so it's starting to look good let's make it a bit more wide at the top So the space between the eyes should be ab uh, about at least it should be at least one eye. So now my eyes are, are a bit too close to each other. So I'll move them a bit a bit wider apart like that. Good. That looks better. Save. Okay, and usually um above the eye in the manga style you also have um some skin skin fold represented by a line so we'll do it now duplicate extrude very thin it should be very thin 
give it the black material scale to zero scale to zero remove double remove doubles okay they also uh, add uh, skin fold I mean it's not really skin fold this time it's more simulated shadow here see it's the um, the shadow you get just uh, you have a we have a uh, some it's pretty deep it's a deep it's going deep into the skull at this place just above the eye and usually it makes uh, some shadow so we can we can add it okay and finally we have the brows to add can I just make this a bit more curved because right now it looks a bit weird yeah better mm, okay for the brows you can take this whole thing duplicate it and make it thinner scale it to zero this one is a bit more curved throughout this center remove doubles okay okay so let's make it because we're going for the female eyes we have to make the um, the brows thin but not that curved okay mm, you can make this one a bit wider Okay, test render. Starting to look good, but mm, yeah, it will do for now. We can add a bit of um, eyelash here, like this, and also here a bit. In here, there is a hole, a little hole here. We will hide it like that. Maybe make it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you take an edge, you duplicate it, rotate, scale, and you make some kind of triangle. Okay, and then you duplicate, rotate a bit, duplicate, rotate a bit. Don't make it, you can make it a bit bigger if you want. But I prefer it to be just if not too big. I guess just a, a small clue for for the viewer to 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 make it look like more like a female eye. I'm just tuning a bit my eye shape like that. Okay. And we'll take those, duplicate them, rotate them, and put them here. And then it's easy to change the direction. And that's it. You now have your um, eyes, your basic eye shape modeled. So in the second part, we will add the uh, the pupil.